what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so i'm out here this afternoon we got the new uh z960m here john deere and the top speed on these mowers uh from what i've read is 10 miles an hour uh, we're going to test that out i have a app on my phone that is called speedometer gps and i downloaded this from the app store it measures even in tenths of mile per hour that's the only one i could find that measures in uh, a tenth of mile per hour that way we'll be able to get uh say if it runs 10 or 10 and a half or whatever um, and what I want to do is I've tested this thing and it will cut grass at 10 mile per hour um, The R series will run 12 miles an hour and from what I've read on the internet the only difference in the M series and the R series the pumps are the same supposedly so the uh, The R series just have the a hydraulic deck lift and stuff on it, but as far as the speed the pumps are the same so I'm thinking that the only two ways that they change the speed is by changing the pulley diameter on the pumps or the crankshaft to make the pulley spin faster, um, which I could check if I had a non-contact uh, tachometer that I could stack on there and check the RPM of the uh, pumps while the engine is running at full throttle. I do not have one of those, um, but I read on the internet they're supposed to run at 3,400 RPM as the max speed on the pumps. So if they're using the same pulley size, the only other way they can limit the speed is by the stroke of the pump. And uh, if you look at the handles here, the slots here is what determines the stroke of the pump. Um, if they, in other words, if they put a smaller uh, square here, if there was more material here, this handle could not come forward as far. And if you see this side here has a stop bolt here, that is for the adjustment to make your handles right and if you look there you got just a little bit of uh, clearance between the metal and the arm um, so at full stroke if this pump is supposed to run at say 12 miles an hour or whatever with a 24 inch tire um, you could very easily limit that by you know not cutting out quite as much metal here to, to, to slow it down a couple miles an hour is, is what I'm saying and so my idea is here we're going to test them more and see what it runs at um, right now the way it's set up and then I'm going to go to the other side over there and remove just a little bit of this metal here I'm going to mark it out and cut it out with a Dremel just a little bit and see if that side speeds up just a little bit compared to this side because this side is set with a stop bolt right there as you see and so that will tell me um, if the pump is at full stroke now another way you could do this without cutting anything would probably be you could adjust the length of the rod down there to where it would run a little bit further uh a little bit faster forward and a little bit slower backwards as you see what i'm saying but i really don't want to do that um, because it's a little bit more trouble i think uh, to get the rod set back up and all that and i want to maintain my reverse speed um, so what I'm going to try to do is trim just a little bit this over here um, Maybe like a sixteenth off and see if that side speeds up if it does uh, I can trim just a little bit here and back this bolt out a little bit and we can speed this thing up a little bit At least that's the idea Obviously this will probably avoid the warranty, but it is what it is. So we're going to take this for a test drive and see um how this thing does here going across the yard i don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera i try to figure it out how i can do this to where this will pick up and we can check it out guys so it looked like a solid 10 mile per hour on the uh, speed humper there best I could tell what I'm going to do is here is take my dial caliper and measure the width of this hole right here let's see, let's see what we got I'm gonna get it halfway square there for best I can 
two inches, 162 and a half thousandths, something like that. Anyway, I want to increase the size of this hole a little bit. Um, maybe between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch and see if this side here gets faster than the other side with the bolt in it. And uh, so I'm going to mark this out here and mark it with my uh, marking pencil and we'll take a Dremel or a die grinder and cut this out with a carbide burr and we'll go take another speed run. Okay, so I made a little mark right here with my pencil. Uh, the distance from this sticker to here is about an eighth of an inch or 125 thousandths roughly and uh, so I got my mark right there I'm gonna take die grinder and uh, trim this up right here to that line make it straight and then we're gonna try it Okay, so I have increased the size of this hole coming forward. I had to swap out to a smaller diameter bit to get in these corners right here on my uh, die grinder there. But I've increased the size of this hole about, what were we at, 160 a while ago? Something like that, 270. It's almost an eighth of an inch. Right at an eighth of an inch there. That I've increased the, the length of that hole. So, what we want to do now is make sure that the lever comes all the way forward. Which, as you see, it does. It comes up and stops. You don't want to uh, go too much as you don't want to be pushing against the pump uh, and damage the pump at full stroke. But we're just going to take off just a little bit until we see if our mile per hour is going to change any at all. Um, I went ahead and trimmed some out of this side as well, but I did not touch the bolt. And uh, as you see here, we got more clearance there on that side. And what that's going to tell me is if it starts going to the left now like it should because the right lever over here is going further forward. Um, I should be able to back off this bolt with the wrench right here and straighten it out and then that will increase the overall top speed of the mower. Alright guys, I've came back and I trimmed just a little bit more out of uh, this right here and I went as, about as far as I could go. You see it starts interfering with the parking brake right there. But it's still stopping right there. I'll stop, bottoming out, so it's not going to hurt anything. And I'm going to show you the measurement here compared to the first measurement. And then we're going to take it for another run. So that's about 2 inches, 370-ish thousandths, 75 thousandths, compared to the 2 inches, 160 we were. So that's about 215 or 20 thousandths, somewhere in that range. Did the other side the same way. We still got our adjustment bolt there that we can make our adjustment so it goes straight. And we're gonna take this thing for another speed run. Move to this smaller bit right here to get the contour of these corners. Uh, but you can see how I did that there.
so it did seem that that made a little bit of a difference. That's about the most you can do. Um, I could tell that, you know, by feeling of the handles or whatever, that the, the transmissions are at their maximum uh, stroke length on the rod. Um, I don't know if that's worth doing or not. I mean, it's hard to tell by GPS because it's not 100% consistent, but it did seem like it picked up uh, about one, one and a half mile per hour or something like that. Um, I don't really think that's going to make a whole lot of difference in uh, your mowing time or whatever because the yard's not usually smooth enough that you can even go that fast. But I just kind of wanted to mess with it to see if, you know, seeing how I read on the internet that the, the M and R series use the same transmissions as that may be uh, one of the reasons why is they were limiting the stroke on the pump just a little bit um, to cut the uh, M series down on the mile per hour just a touch uh, to make you want to buy the R series. Um, I don't know. Uh, anyway. It did seem to help it a little bit. As I say, you're not going to be practically mowing that fast very often unless you're mowing a really, really smooth field. But uh, just kind of want to see with experiment. So uh, hopefully I give you a little bit of information. I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.